Hey everyone, this is Aerial Royalty and we are back for Let's Play Skyrim, episode 26. Last time we completed Missing in Action and now we're going to be doing another quest in White Run, In My Time of Need. So, Red Guard Woman, the one we need is in the Bannered Mare. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Easy way to get this woman's attention. Sadia, wake up, dear. Yes, Mama. You want a drink? Are you sure? Oh no. They found me? I need your help, please. Come with me. I need to speak to you privately. Quickly, come with me. to do this quest the way I normally do it. So, are you working with them? You think you can take me? You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. I mean it. I'll, I'll cut you in half. So the Alakir know where I am? What do they offer you? Gold? How many more of them are coming? Tell me. Then I need your help, and there isn't anyone else I can trust here in the city. I am not the person that the people of White Run think I am. My real name is Eamon. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, they are assassins in the employ of the Almarie Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him, and the rest will scatter. I don't dare show my face, lest they recognize me, so you'll have to find out where they are. I heard one of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. If he's locked up in the jail, perhaps you can get it out of him. Please. I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. I don't know for sure. I spoke out against the Aldmeri Dominion publicly. I suspect that's why these men were hired to hunt me down. You think I'd be in hiding if this was something I trusted town guards to handle? These men are ruthless, cunning, deceitful. They'll pay off whoever they can. I can't trust anyone here in Whiterun. Guards and Jarls can be bought. And the Alakir are close. I'm running out of time, so I'm choosing to trust you. Find me the moment the Alakir are taken care of. We drink to our youth, to days come and gone. So, is just about done. I'm doing it my way because I've actually researched into we'll the Hammerfell situation. The and what we <clears throat> it's not easy being a woman in Skyrim alone. But I'm gonna do the path that I do because it gets the most experience in my turn, case at least. For he saw in us, in each of us, the future of But I've never done it with the unofficial patch, so let's see how it goes.
Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. What are you looking at? You have a death wish then? If you know that Nay, you must know to meet him would be to meet your end. But it seems we both have needs, friend. Perhaps we can help each other out. I have dishonored my brothers by being captured, and so they have left me here. My life with the Alakir is over now, but I have no wish to die in this god's forsaken land. If I can be released from prison, I may start over. See to that, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Because I was clumsy enough to be captured, Kamatu always says, we're supposed to be the best of the best. I wasn't. One hundred gold will secure my release. You can afford that, can't you? I suppose you'd better hope you can, if you want the information. Get the money into the hands of one of these guards, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Oh. Need supplies? Done. Convince him to stay out of the city while you're at it. What are you looking at? You buy my way out of here, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Very well. Kamatu is west of Whiterun. It's an unassuming little cave called Swindler's Den. You realize if you set foot in there, you're never coming back out. They'll kill you. But that's your problem, not mine. Guard! My fine's been paid, now set me free! said my fine has been paid. Now let me out! Right, right. Oh, look at that. I seem to have lost my keys. Might take me a while to find them. You just sit tight. I'll get... <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Swindler's Den. No lollygagging. I should bash your face in after all you've done. Against its own people! So rise up! Rise up, children of the Empire! She does a light armor trainer in there. My cat appears to be dreaming. Ayla? Ayla. You outside? Please be outside. Yes, you are. Do you have guidance? I've heard you may actually be stronger. Let's not waste any time.
Swindler's Den. It's full of bandits, with the Alakir at the back of it. Not much to talk about on the way there, at least. Get going. Let's go. Here it is. Swindler's dead. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Stop. What is it? Lead on, then. There's a cave here. Perfect hideout for bandits, or worse. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's kick butt bandits. Was 
Is it me or is it dark in here? Hey, what the? Keep your damn magic to yourself. Just leaves them lying around. So much easier to rob when I'll you're rip dead. Your heart out. Oh, my God. 
That did not go where I wanted it to, to go. Come on. Proving your strength, boy. Let's avoid any more bloodshed. I think you and I have some things to talk about. Stay your hand, warrior. It's no secret why you're here. And you have proven your skill in combat. Let us talk a moment. And no one else needs to die. I think we can all profit from the situation in which we find ourselves. My men will not attack you if you will lower your weapon. Farewell. How about you let me get to you first, dude? Need something? 
She sold the city out to the Aldmeri Dominion. Were it not for her betrayal, Tanith could have held its ground in the war. The other noble houses discovered her betrayal, and she fled. They want her brought back alive. The resistance against the Dominion is alive and well in Hammerfell, and they want justice. Of course, said Vi. What is it that she's calling herself these days? Shazra? Sadia? One of those, correct? Did she appeal to your sense of honor? Your greed? A more base need, perhaps? It doesn't matter. No doubt she's convinced you that she's the victim. But do you know why we pursue her? Assassins? No, nothing so crass. Sadia, as you know her, is wanted by the noble houses of Tanith for treason. We were hired to see her return to Hammerfell for her crimes. You can help us with that. And make sure no one else gets hurt. So, the research I did into Hammerfell shows that it is currently an independent state. Free of both the Dominion and the Empire. So, they are actually telling the truth. But of course, this information is not exactly easy to come across, so... Most people don't know it, so I'm going with them. She sold the city out to the Aldmeri Dominion. Were it not for her betrayal, Tanith could have held its ground in the war. The other noble houses discovered her betrayal, and she fled. They want her... The resistance against the Dominion is alive. She trusts you, at least to some extent. She sent you after us, and has no reason to think that you'd do anything other than that. Convince her that we'll be coming for her, and she needs to leave. Lead her to the stables outside Whiterun. We'll be waiting to take her into custody. I'll gladly share a portion of the bounty in return for your efforts in seeing proper justice done. Good. We'll be waiting for you at the stables. It will be good to finally be able to return home. So... As Hammerfell is independent, it pretty much fought off the Empire and the Dominion and is saying we'll use your currency Empire but you're not telling us what to do. There is actually some dialogue you could overhear in the Solitude Dungeons but the first are kind of mucked up and now it can't be heard. Because the two characters that have the conversation don't get close enough for it to be triggered. Which is why a lot of people struggle with this quest and like, which one's right. Now there is a tidbit that could show that Sadia is telling the truth, but it could also be M Bethesda making a mistake. Which I will show after this quest, and after I've solved all this junk I'm carrying. Why am I just finding arrows lying around? going. I'm heading home if you need me. Fast traveling is proving much better in terms of getting back. Which I'm enjoying. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, what time is it? Too early. That's for sure. You're someone who can get things. Got some good people looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Ah, you don't have any money. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Doubt the shop's even open, which it isn't. Welcome to War Maidens. We've got small weapons. The finest weapons and armor. I do not need three of them. Good doing business with you. Divine smile on you, friend. Do you hunt? The plains outside White Run are right off the gate. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Any news of the Alakir? What? How? I thought they weren't allowed within the city. But where will I go? I can't, I can't keep, keep running, running forever. forever. After all this, I have to pick up and leave again? If you really think this is the only way, I trust you. Let's not waste any time. I hope your parents are proud of you. They have a lot of reason. Heard they're reforming the Dawn God? Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort, they wish. There's a horse waiting at the stables, all right. Meet at last, my dear lady. What is this? What have you done? Oh, come now. You didn't really expect to manipulate people forever, did you? Your luck had to run out sometime. She's only paralyzed. 
Now we'll take our friend here back to Hammerfell, where she will pay the price for her treason. Not on the way back. Once she gets there, it's not up to me to decide what's done with her. And as for you, I owe you a portion of the reward, don't I? Well, here you go. Spend it wisely, and if I may, don't allow yourself to be fooled by a pretty face. You're better than that. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a script that means that whenever a character is removed from the game, an urn appears in the respective burial chamber for them. So, because of this, the warm set. take a look. Um, Sardia actually has an urn appear in the White One Hall of the Dead, which has led a lot of people to wonder if they're telling the truth or not. But it could be that Bethesda simply forgot to remove the script that causes that to happen. I mean, as there's no more need for her to be around, has characters removed from the game? So that would explain why the script kicked in and they just needed to remove that script and they forgot. I just bought a lot of soul gems. I hope that explains it well. If not, um, there is a video by EpicNate315 who helps me with my notes. Even though he isn't aware of it, I watch his video which helps me make my notes. And one of his videos, though I can't remember which one, does explain this. And other people have encountered um, going the Kamatu path, saying that Falmor attack them for interrupting with one of their agents or something. So that is yet another quest done, you and I'm starting work? to get a headache. It might suit you. And I don't know why. As if Skyrim didn't have enough outsiders. Now we only have one more quest to do, but first I want to go speak to Yorland. Lot of steel to shape. Gods be praised. It's an honorable craft. I'll show you what I can. That will do. Helps. Mm -hmm. Heard about you and your honey words. So, the next quest we're going to be doing is fixing this tree. Never done it with. The unofficial patch, but I know there's a bug if you guys aren't part of it. So, that is going to be it for this episode. In the next episode, we will be fixing the Gilder Gleam. Until then, take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time. Goodbye! <laughs>